And to Mexico now we go where parents and classmates of the disappeared Ayotzinapa students say they feel less confident about than ever about the government's investigation. Many of them now believe a media campaign is seeking to discredit the students by falsely linking them to criminal groups. It comes after the relatives met with Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto. Here's our correspondent Clayton Kahn. Parents of the disappeared 43 Ayotzinapa students say that they left their first gathering with Mexico's president Enrique Peña Nieto feeling the same as they did before the five-hour meeting. We are not going to trust the words of the president nor the commitments he made on national TV until the 43 normalistas are presented alive. Meanwhile, Omar Garcia, Ayotzinapa student and survivor of the attack in Iguala Guerrera, denounces recent reports that links the missing students to organized crime. With what moral character do they come and tell us that we are connected to some organized crime group? There is no such a thing. It is an attempt to criminalize us and to reduce the problem. Civil society continues to exponentially support the students organizing protests, but also activities such as this Day of the Dead altar to raise awareness. The offering is not to say that the normalistas are dead or anything like that. What we do believe is dead in this country is justice, homeland and peace. While the colors may be vibrant and with a grinning festive atmosphere, the now common tagline, We Are Missing 43, exposes the somber and gray reality in Mexico. Clayton Khan, Telesur. Mexico City. And thanks to Clayton, the internet.